Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. I'm Debbie. Today we are going to be doing an autumn sign. We did a fall sign, now we're gonna do an autumn sign. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my stuff. I have got bins of stuff. So what we're gonna start doing is I, I went ahead and I used the antique wax so these would dry. Now they're gonna dry fast because I got the ceiling fan on and they were all wood, so I think they'll dry fast. But all I did was take, and what I'm using are the um, what do call little pieces of wood that you would use um, for leveling things. I forgot what they were called. They'll come to me. And then I'm just wiping it off to get that look. Shims. That's what they're called, shims. I knew it would come to me. I'm just letting that dry. Now, we're also going to make some of these. I'm going to show you how I made them. These are little leaves. I got the idea from Jamie from the DIY guy. And I'm gonna show you. You just take one of these, they're from Dollar Tree. Put some. You, you, you can be messy, it doesn't matter. Then, you're going to take what colors you want your leaf to be. I got red, orange, yellow, and I got some green. We're going to make a fall. And just play with it. Let me see what my... And I'm putting just a dab on it. It doesn't matter how much you put on there. You you control it. I'm just going over it. And if you get too much, just wipe it off. You can use the uh, paint from Dollar Tree if you want. And then I'm going to go in with the yellow. And, I mean, when they dry, they dry real pretty. This is something your kids could do, too. You can make a, um, what do you call it? Hang them up over your fireplace. But see how you still see a little bit of red? And then you can go a little bit of orange in here. And you can keep adding. You can keep adding it. Now, some of them I put green on. Some of them I did not put green on. You see how that's coming out right there? Put a little bit of red on there. Just have fun with it. Get it to wear the color you want it. I'm in Sarasota, Florida. We don't have fall leaves. I wish. But you see? and then just let it dry. Throw it across the room. Let it dry, and this is what you'll get. Okay. Something like that. Anyways, I've already done mine, because everything had to dry. Okay, you're going to need the sign just like I used, hold on a second, you're going to need a sign like I used for the fall sign. Get some of this paint off of me. I don't like wearing gloves, but my 
hands were getting to be a mess. Okay. You need a sign like this. As a ridges, Dollar Tree. I think everything I got is from Dollar Tree except for the uh, the wood. The leaves are from Dollar Tree. The paints are from Michaels, Joann's, and Walmart. Now I used ivory on this one. And of course we use the antique wax. But this is what you're gonna be using. And I'm gonna use, you need hot, you need glue. So I'm just gonna move these over. And we're gonna start building this. I like that one better than the rest that I made. Okay. You're also going to need some stickers. Now, these are from Dollar Tree also. Let me take these gloves off. There, there that's better. I got paint on this. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. And what I'm going to do... Now, I did, I got carried away. I did a lot of them. A lot of leaves. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm sure you can see me. I'm gonna start laying my planks out where I want them to go. Butt them up. That's not gonna work. Just like that. Now I'm gonna come down here and do this one. are not exactly dry. Okay. It's okay though. I'm not going to worry about it. And then I got these small ones that aren't going to fit. So now I got to recut them. All right. Let me see. Okay, I wanted to show you how I cut them. I had to remeasure them. So I just measure them like this. I'm using my little tool. And this is through Amazon. And that's all you do. Now, this, you can do 45, you can do straight. You know, like that. That's a little locking. I love it. Okay. Hopefully that'll work. All right. Now I'm gonna stain these, and I'll get right back to you. Okay. I got those done. I'm gonna glue those on. <clears throat> have to be perfect. It's supposed to look rustic. Is 
see it. There we go. All right. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do my letters. Okay, we got no on. Now we're gonna do our letters. You can get uh, you can draw them on if you're a good drawer. You can you can do just about anything. Whatever your preference is. Our Dollar Tree hasn't got all their stuff up. still waiting. And I'm looking for the uh, white Santa Claus from Walmart. And they got their stuff up. Most of it's up. But they didn't have the white Santas. That or somebody bought them all. I know a lot of them um, are doing craft fairs. Sheet. 
You may have to glue these down. You may have to use. I might have to use some here. There's my glue stick. You can get these at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Hobby Lobby stickers. I think I haven't used these in like forever. They may be losing their stickiness. Okay, now on the back. Oh, wait a minute, I'm not done. Hold on. Hold on. Thought I was done. stuff going on at the mail. Have fun with it. Make it your own. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now you can do this painting technique that we did with the leaves. You can do them to the acorns at Dollar Tree sales. I did do one with the acorn. Take the rope that it came with. Yeah, that U's coming off. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put it back on. I kind of eyeball it. webs off and there's a lot of them I'm gonna have to glue some of those down but there you have it tell me what you think give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel until next time I'll see you later bye